Learn how to knit this handbag in about an hour, no needles required. All you need is some giant yarn, about 500 grams, and a pair of scissors. Let's start with the base of the bag. Find the end of your yarn and create a loop like so. Insert your hand inside the loop and grab the tail and pull it up. You will create a knot and a new loop. You can adjust the size of the loop by pulling on the yarn. We will create a loop that's about two fingers wide. Let's make a new loop. Insert your hand inside the loop and grab not the tail this time, but the yarn from the bowl, pull it up. Make sure it is the same size as our first loop, about two fingers wide. You can see here the start of a braid or a chain. This was our first loop. We have two loops. Let's make four more to have six in total. One of the secrets to a nice looking bag is to have all your loops about the same size. Although you don't have to use your fingers every time and can trust your eyes. It really looks like a braid now. Let's make sure that we have six loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. The open loop counts as one. The base of the bag is finished. Now let's make the body. Lay your chain horizontally. Make a new loop, but this time pointing upwards, like so. This new loop comes from the last loop of the chain. Now go to the loop next to it. Under the top yarn, make a new loop, pointing upwards as well. Now you have two open loops. Continue down the chain and create a new loop in each loop of the chain, the same way. Because our chain base had six loops, you will end up with six open loops, like this. We will create another six loops on the other side of the chain. Turn your chain around. Position your yarn over the knot. Find the opposite side of the chain loop and right under it, create a new loop there. Repeat for all the loops of the chain. For the last loop of the chain, you will see that it is in the same location as the loop on the other side. We now have 12 open loops, 6 on each side of the chain. We will now make a new round of open loops. Turn your chain around. In the first loop of our first round, make a new loop. This will be the first loop of our second round. So this was our first round, this is our second round. Each round has 12 open loops and we will continue making loops all around counterclockwise and make 8 rounds in total. 
this will create the body of our bag. Remember to make your loops as even as you can for a nice and polished look. When you finished with the six loops on one side, do the other side by turning the bag around. Make sure the yarn is always tense, especially when you go from one side to the other to avoid any holes in your finished bag. The second round is now completed. We can move on to the third round and from here, I will let you continue all by yourself at your own pace until you have completed eight rounds in total. Just keep doing your loops the same way as we've done together for the first two rounds. You don't need to keep counting your rounds when you're kneading. If you lost track, just stop whenever you think you have done eight rounds and I will explain later how to count your rounds and adjust if needed. While making your rounds, it can be helpful to press the bag like this from time to time to help it keep its shape. Note that we are making the bag inside out, which means the actual outside of the bag is now inside, so don't worry if it doesn't look like much now. After we've done the 8 rounds, we will turn it the right way. After 8 rounds, your bag should look something like this. Now let's count and make sure we do have 8 rounds on each side. Count the loops from the base. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and with the open loop 8. Repeat for the other side from the base. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If you have more, you can undo some rows. And if you have less, you can continue knitting until you do have 8 rows. Before we turn the bag inside out, let's hide this end. To do so, pull down the fabric until you reach the bag to expose the inside cotton. Cut the cotton off. Then pull the fabric back up and make a knot. Hide the knot and the end as best as you can in the base of the bag. Now, let's turn the bag inside out by pushing on the corners of the base. By doing so, some of the open loops may become loose. You will need to straighten each of them up. And if some of them have become undone, like this one, do them again. Let's make the top of the bag and close those open loops first. To do so, you need to measure about 8 times the width of your bag. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can cut the yarn off here and discard the rest of the yarn. To close the open loops, take the yarn end and insert it into the first loop of the next round. It should be the loop located left of the last loop. Insert the end from the outside towards the inside and pull the yarn like so. Pull the yarn slowly so that the last loop doesn't become undone. You can reposition the open loop so that it is not twisted. 
Repeat for all the open loops. You can do several loops at a time to save some time. Repeat for all the other loops, including the last one, we should be 12 in total. All the open loops are now secure. You will notice that these open loops are a little bit larger than the rest of the bag, so we will now make them smaller and look nicer. To do this, locate the first open loop of the round. Follow its trail in the back and pull on the yarn you will see that it closes the open loop. Follow the trail and it will bring you to the second open loop. Pull on the yarn again to close this one. You can continue for all the other open loops and you will notice that as you go along, the amount of loose yarn will become bigger and bigger. As you reach the last open loop of the row, you will be left with a lot of loose yarn. To close this last loop, you will need to pull on the yarn like so. And pull it all around the bag. The second to last step is to shape the top of the bag. I would like my bag to be a bit narrow at the top, but you can decide to leave it straight if you prefer. Whatever you decide, narrow or straight, pull on the yarn end to close the bag completely. Reopen the bag and adjust the position of the open loops so that they are spaced equally. Here you can adjust the size of the opening and the shape of the bag to your liking. I'm quite happy with this shape. Last but not least, let's create the handle of the bag. Locate a column on the side of the bag. The handle will start from here. This is the last loop of the last round. Under this section next to it, create a new loop. About two fingers wide. Continue to make a chain exactly the same way as we've done with the back base. You can make as many loops as you like until the handle reaches your desired length.
Here I've done 10 loops and I'm ready to fix it to the opposite side. To do this, you need to close the open loop first by passing the end through it. To locate the opposite side and where to fix the handle, you can count the open loops and make sure you have 6 on each side. Once you've located that section, pass the yarn end under it. Position the handle so that it looks nice. And to secure it, find a loop in the inside of the bag. Pass the yarn end under it. Then through the loop to create a knot. Tighten it well. To secure the yarn end, hide it a few times in the inside of the bag. To finish, hide it the same way as we did for the base of the bag. Congratulations for making your giant knit bag.